In developing news, Salt Lake City police are out for answers in a cold case. An elderly man murdered in his own home back in the 1980s. His family came forward this morning pleading for someone to help police find his killer who's still out there four decades later. ABC4's Kayla Beggarly has their story. It was over 40 years ago that Celadon Archuleta was found dead here in his home. His family says all this time without an answer has been devastating and they're pleading for justice. Some days I'm, I'm extremely angry. I, there's a lot of frustration. On May 11, 1980, Salt Lake City police found the body of 76-year-old Celadon Archuleta in his home along 900 South and 900 West. Police say someone had entered, beat him to death, and ransacked the house, taking money, a gun, and a toolbox. This was an old, old, old gentleman who, who didn't deserve this, and he had a life, life to lead, and he had many grandchildren and great-grandchildren to live for. Police say they've exhausted every measure, including utilizing a new forensic technology to test evidence from 1980, and still have been unable to identify a suspect. They and Archuleta's family say they believe there are people that could have information on his death and are asking they come forward. It's been a really difficult journey for our family to try and seek justice. Um, when we feel that the community has information, um, a lot of these neighbors have lived in this community for many, many years. Archuleta's loved ones have been anxiously seeking answers for over four decades. His granddaughter, Angie Bryan, was 13 when he died and says she would often go and visit her grandparents on the weekend. She describes Archuleta as someone who is funny, witty, and enjoyed spending time with his family. We have fond memories of him giving us money to go to the store to buy candy and ice cream and he was just very, very caring and, and loving towards his family. Archuleta's family believes whoever was involved in his murder may have known him and that there could have been multiple people involved. They hope by sharing their story, they will be able to find some long-awaited closure. He no longer has a voice and we want to be his voice and we will continue to be his voice. So we're pleading for help from the community to put this case behind us and give us our family some peace. If you have any information on this case, Salt Lake City Police are asking that you contact them at the number you see on your screen. Reporting from Glendale, Kayla Baggerly, ABC4 News. Thank you, Kayla. Hopefully that family